Welcome back to the Elemental series of instructional videos. In this video we're going to shift our attention to a different material but similar process and we're going to look at concrete masonry units. Now concrete masonry units are perhaps not used um, decoratively in the same way that clay bricks are used but they're quite ubiquitous um, for a lot of um, basic structural work on medium scale building simply because um, it's a, a fast and effective and, and pre-engineered system and relies on uh, a unit like almost a, a monocoque type of or uniform structure where um, reinforcement is embedded inside the blocks and the hollow core of the block is core filled to make a very strong reinforced concrete and concrete block wall. Making the concrete blocks is actually reasonably quite simple it's um, basically a, a very fine mix, very small aggregates um, involved in uh, making the blocks and they're pressed into a series of moulds, um, a little bit like a dry press brick. The one thing to note though in this instance is that they're using a lot of um, a uh, waste from coal fire um, power stations um, that are using fly ash but in this case bottom ash um, to act as a filler so that they're using less cement um, in their overall blend. It is really a simple process. Um, there's actually quite a, a large machine that just pumps um, sort of rack after rack of, of concrete blocks. Each process takes um, literally seconds, uses a, a lot of pressure and heavy vibration and just pushes um, the very dry, almost 10% moisture mixture into the block, um, releases it immediately from the mould and then pushes it down the line. And here we can see the um, trays of concrete blocks going further down the line and then into these quite tall um, steam chambers where they will be then um, placed to cure um, for a considerable period of time. The process is highly automated and similar for lots of different profiles. Here we can see the same process being used for um, concrete pavers. And using the process of a very sort of dry pressed mix, um, there are some decorative uh, finishes um, that are possible um, by exploiting the characteristic of the block. These are what are called split face, bro split face blocks. They're used, um, I guess, as a throwback to more sort of colonial type of rustic um, type of appearance, which is not to everyone's taste, but still very popular. And basically it's a, a standard um, concrete block that's almost a double. And it's um, put, uh, there's a wedge or, or a fillet down the middle of the two blocks, which you can see in the bottom row, just simply a, a high pressure sort of um, flat piece of steel comes down and literally splits the two blocks in two to give that sort of rumbled uh, rough effect to the one side of the block. And the same process is used also for to make some more decorative um, clay based and, and cement based um, uh, flat pavers. Um, in this instance there's a blend of different aggregates and um, and shales and so on to blend with the concrete um, mixture to make um, again very simple, very smooth, very uniform um, paving materials that are very strong. One thing um, that's uh, to note about concrete uh, masonry in general is that they're moving um, quite quickly to a much more controlled system. You can see in the top left hand corner um, they're using, that's a dry stack uh, system so no mortar is used whatsoever, it's just dry stacked and then it's the core filling that gives the wall um, its integrity. And you can see on the bottom there's experiments with automated um, I guess distribution of mortar. In one we've got a, a dry press brick unit and on the bottom uh, right hand corner we can see three blocks in a testing station that have been literally glued together. So instead of um, using a, a mason 
uh, Mason's technique, what they'll um, have is an applicator that literally um, sticks the blocks together. And this is, I guess, uh, one step closer to a, a realistic um, application of automation on the site. That's the end of that short introduction to concrete masonry. Um, a lot of the uh, knowledge and um, uh, work to be done on the concrete masonry will be referencing uh, simply the pre-engineered technical manuals that uh, accompany uh, the products that uh, go on on sale and um, generally speaking it is remember a system that is mainly focused um, towards large-scale um, structural walls, I guess the bones of the building and the parts of the building that perhaps aren't uh, immediately visible. Uh, thanks again for listening and um, we'll catch you next time.